Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope this finds you doing well. This past Sunday, we celebrated what we call Fifth Sunday, the time in which we come together. What a wonderful time it was of worship, of fellowship, of feasting. We know that we have our preferences. Some prefer a traditional music. Some prefer more contemporary music. Some of us, our first language is English. For others, our first language is Spanish. But we all came together and demonstrated that what truly unites us is our community found in the love for Jesus Christ and, of course, his love for us. So we praise God for this. And thanks to all who helped to put this special Sunday together. Our next Sunday, fifth Sunday, is going to be in October, so we're looking forward to that as well. I want to also say thank you for all that brought in backpacks and school supplies. Hard to believe that it's that time getting ready to return to school. And we just have an abundance of backpacks and supplies that were brought in so that students here in the area can have the necessary supplies they need in order to be prepared for the upcoming school year. So thank you for your generosity. And then finally today, as we continue this series, and we are getting near the end of this summer series uh, in which we explore the Old Testament and how it applies in life today. This Sunday, we're going to consider David and how God expressed to David that his kingdom would endure forever. And we might think about that and say, well, as far as I know, David's kingdom doesn't exist today. So we're going to dive in and see exactly what God was saying when he told David that and how it impacts you and me and who the ultimate king truly is. So again, I hope you're doing well. I look forward to being with you this Sunday as we worship together. Take care. God bless.